G'day guys, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around in my 2003 Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a factory turbo diesel and uh, it's a bit noisy here where I am, but uh, let's see how we go. We start at the front. Okay, up front we've got uh, nine inch King Spotlights. They were doing the job fine. They actually were really good value for money, but uh, in the last few weeks or months or so, they started filling up with water. And uh, I, think, I think it's time for new ones. Then we've got the GME heavy duty aerial. That's what it's supposed to do. It's perfect actually. Pretty happy with that. Got an Iron Ar Man winch, 12,000 pounds. Haven't had to use it. Down here we're running the uh, Tarburn's radiator bash plate. It's the troop carriers of Australia custom plate. Road safe recovery points. The mighty 1HD FT Land Cruiser Turbo Diesel factory turbo diesel engine. It's probably one of the best engines Toyota ever made. It's a lot better than my last uh, 1HC non-turbo diesel engine. It goes better. Okay, so right now we've got the Yellow Top Optima battery. That's my main uh, cranking battery. And I've also got a, a calcium battery at the back that I just run for my lights, etc. We've got a TJM dual battery system. That just, uh, it's kind of like works like a one of those isolators it's a little bit smarter than that but i'm actually taking that out i'm going to put in a dc to dc charger that has a solar input and i need to clean up the wiring and stuff up there as well over here we got the hpd catch can and the pdp diff breeders gearbox transfer etc apart from that it's pretty stock in here I haven't decided whether I want to put in a front mount or a top mount intercooler. Apparently the front mounts are supposed to be better and maybe a high flow turbo. And to get more power out of these, you have to chip them. So I may do this, I'm not too sure yet. Like I don't really need the extra power, but obviously it'd be nice. But uh, yeah, that's. I think that's all in the engine bay. I've got some replacement headlights in my uh, garage at home. They're uh, kind of like halo eyes and uh, I'm not too sure if I want them yet. These have upgraded bulbs in them, so they're not too bad. But uh, yeah, that's it's on the list. Okay, uh, wheels and suspension. So right now I'm running a 16 inch dynamic steel rims and the 2A5 7516 Nitro Trail Grapplers. I have these on for about 15,000 Ks and I'm pretty happy with them. They're, they're awesome tires. There's hardly any wear whatsoever in them so far. I've rotated them once. They're probably due for another rotation, but it's, they're almost, they're perfect. They're really good. The only downside I think to these wheels are they're really heavy. I think these are in weight, they're almost equivalent to a 35 inch tire, which is crazy. And I was on a Blacksmith's Beach there a few weeks back and I, I've never driven on that beach before and apparently it's really soft sand and I had them drop down to 14 psi and it takes a lot for them to bag out. You have to, they've got a really, really strong uh, sidewall. So I had to drop right down to 14% and even then I thought it could go lower. Like it didn't struggle in the sand, but I did find it a little bit more hard going. So I don't know if that's because of the really heavy tread pattern or it's uh, because it didn't bag out or as I said, I heard it is really soft sand there. So maybe that's why I'm not sure. We've got a two inch one man new lift. In the future, I think I'd like to go to 3-inch. I haven't decided on that. I don't really need it, but 
I would love to put a 315s on here and a 3 inch lift but that's a lot more extra money but uh, yeah it looks good so I'm not sure uh, we've got the ERB flares I've put on the, the GXL mirrors up top I'm running a 50 inch light bar on this steady brackets that clip onto my Rhino Rack 3 roof rack some custom lighting front and back both sides got a Iron Man awning just a standard awning it's fine in the future I'd like to get one of those 270 awnings but again that's kind of on the bottom of the list of stuff moving on so in the interior here it's pretty stock compared to some we've got this really handy bag here it's, it's, as far as i know it clips onto the back of your uh, buggy like your pram somebody on the troop carriers of australia page came up with the idea i think it was julie so good on you julie we've got a engine watchdog tm1 this uh keeps an eye on the temperatures in the engine bay and you can set an alarm on it and if it goes over I think this one is set to 100. If it goes over that, the alarm will go off, etc. EGT gauge, boost gauge, switch for your light bar, your spotlights. Over here, I've got my rear locker. I've actually got a Harp E locker in the back. We've got a reverse camera on the rear mirror. And up top here, we've got an overhead console with more lights for the Two lights for the front up here for the front and one for in the rear and also a 40 channel uhf i also have an 80 channel sitting at home but i haven't had the need to use it yet mandatory mirror for herself the, these cars don't come with any luxuries like that So down here, I don't actually have a center console and well, none of these Land Cruisers come with a center console. I would love to get uh, one of those Department of Interior ones, but uh, I think I'm just gonna make one and that will be in a future video as well. Okay, so moving on to the rear bar. This is the one thing I get asked a lot of questions about. It was made by a uh, fabrication mob in Adelaide. They have uh, built, they integrated the rear bar so it's got two smaller arms, it's all integrated here and it doubles as a ladder to get to the top it's actually really awesome and uh, this is probably the best part on one of the swing away arms they have a place here for your gas canister and also for your weather so you can just pull it up to your campsite wherever and just have a barbecue on the go and in my last trophy I had no, it wasn't as good as this, but I had a, uh, a slide out back. But if you were away for a long weekend, the Weber started to stick up the back a little bit. Yeah, moving around to this side of the bar, as I said, it's all integrated. Uh, in the future here, I think I'm going to relocate the number plate to here. So I can put a, a trash bag on the back here. And uh, there's a guy over at WA, PM Campus. I was chatting to him. And he does uh, awesome custom bags. So I think I'm gonna get one of them. Maybe put uh, my Max Tracks there as well. But this is actually my reverse light as well. So I'm gonna have to uh, maybe put new lights here, number plate here. For, uh, I have a 45 liter carbons water tank. It isn't on there right now, but I have it sitting in my garage. That has to go on. So with the rear fit out, at the moment I only have uh, drawers in here, but a good friend of mine built this for me, he did an awesome job. But what isn't here right now, but will be in the next video, is uh, this thing is all uh, in units, so like modular system. So up here, it comes in, drops down at the back, same over the other side, and then it comes up this side. And you have a space here for my 40 liter Ingo. And then there's like the, almost like a walkthrough here. It's it's not gonna be the, the biggest space for sitting inside, but maybe you can sit inside if it's a ultra bad day. 
There's also another section that joins here and turns the whole platform into a bed. Now we don't plan on uh, sleeping in this 24-7, but because we, we're going to bring a tent with us, but uh, on those days where you've to camp or like you just, we just get to camp late and you don't want to be setting up a tent. So with the rear door here, I'm going to change this and get a drop down table. Also on my uh, door here, I have another section that clips onto here and prints it out. So that actually makes this drawer into a table. But as I said, I'll explain that in a, another video. So like, if you would like to see that other video on that, please leave a like, subscribe. Yes, I'm going to change so we have more storage here as well. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's pretty much the car. So plans for the future. In about six months time, we're gonna go traveling around Australia, me and my partner. We're, uh, we're big into surfing, snorkeling, hiking, etc. So if you'd like to tag along, please subscribe. Uh, that'd be awesome if you could. So the whole point of making these videos, so it's something to look back at, and also it's something just to do while we're on the road. The rest of the videos, so, Another video is going to be about the, the back of the car, the build, etc. And uh, she is going to be doing food videos. She's a big foodie, so we're going to make videos on uh, how to make good food on the road. I can cook, but it's mostly bacon and eggs and stuff, and you probably don't want to be watching that. But uh, so I think that's really it, apart from, as I said, I'm going to do another video with the back interior with the fridge, the storage, etc. If you could leave a like, subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Again, I'd like to apologize about the sound here today. I don't have a mic on this, and uh, it's really windy, and it's so noisy here. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.